in section 3.3, we're going to start talking about all polygons. Well, first of all, let's review what a polygon is. I know some of you are like, Mr. Humphreys, we know that. Well, you probably do, but we got to just make sure you do and know the correct and precise definition. A polygon is a closed plane figure made up of three or more line segments that intersect only at their endpoints. These would be examples of polygons. These are not. The biggest misconception is, for example, this last one that looks like an hourglass. That is not a polygon. That's two polygons put together at a vertex. These curved pieces also make note that these are not line segments. Therefore, they are not polygons. So what are we doing this chapter? Well, the purpose of this section is to talk about, well, we know triangles have a sum of 180 degrees. What about everything else? Well, I'm sure you know the probably the first two or three um, sides after you increase after a triangle. For example, do you know, if I asked you right now, do you know what all four angles of a quadrilateral add up to? Okay, it's 360. What about a pentagon, an octagon, a decagon? Well, every time you add a side, you add a 90 degrees to an interior to the sum. You add a 90 degree uh, number to the sum of all the angles. Well, there's a formula we can use. And this is called the interior angle measures of a polygon. Here's how you get it. The sum, represented by S, is equal to the difference of n and 2, n and 2 would be the number of sides subtracted by 2, multiplied by 180. You could also do it like this, 180 multiplied by the difference of the number of sides in 2. That's it. It's a formula that you have to use. So in example 1, find the sum of the interior angle measures of the school crossing sign. I want to know what all five of these angles, 1, 2, three, four, five, all add up to give me. Well, what could you do? You could add and find out each angle and try to figure it out that way, or we just use the formula. The sum is equal to 180 multiplied by the number of sides subtracted by two. The sum then would be 180 multiplied by the number of sides, which is five, subtracted by two. 180 multiplied by three gives me 540 degrees. So the sum of the interior angle measures is 540 degrees of this crossing sign. Now there's something we need to make note of, and that's this. This is a pentagon. We know that. But for polygons whose names you have not learned, you can always use the phrase n-gon, where n is the number of sides. For example, we could say a 15-gon is a polygon with 15 sides. If you didn't know this was a pentagon, you could call it a five-gon. But there are names for them, but if you don't know them, you can just call it by the number of sides. Example two, finding an interior angle measure of a polygon. I want you to find the measure of x, or the value of x. What would I do? Well, the first thing we need to know is what all of these add up to give me. What do they add up to give you? So we use the formula, S equals 180 multiplied by, how many sides are there? There's seven, so we take seven minus two. 180 multiplied by five gives me 900, so we know they all add up to 980, or 980, 900. Use algebra, please use algebra. Do not start doing 900 minus this, minus this, minus, Please do not do that. Let's use algebra. So we know that x plus the sum of all of these, well, they're all going to add up to give you 778 equals 900. By subtraction property, I take 900 minus 778, and I get 122. The value of x is 122. If I asked for that missing angle measure, you'd say 122 degrees. In a regular polygon, all of the sides and all of the interior angles are congruent. So if I say a regular quadrilateral, that would be a square. If I said a regular triangle, 
That would be an equilateral triangle, so on and so forth. You're going to be learning that a lot and then using it a lot in eighth grade. So in example three, a cloud system discovered on Saturn is in the approximate shape of a regular hexagon. Find the measure of each interior angle of the hexagon. Well, we have to find what they add up to give me first. So 180 multiplied by 6 minus 2, that's 180 multiplied by 4. That gives me 720 degrees as all of the angles. Divided by 6, since they're all equal, each angle is equal to 120 degrees. Each angle is equal to 120 degrees. And actually, each interior angle is 120 degrees. Which leads us into our next key idea, the exterior angles. The sum of the measures of all of the exterior angles of a convex polygon. Whoa, wait a minute. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, I don't know what that is. What's a convex polygon? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here it is. A polygon is convex when every line segment connecting any two vertices lies entirely inside the polygon. So, for example, whoop, that dotted line, it's always inside. I connect any two vertices, you get that. Here, I can connect these two, that's inside. But if I connect these two, it's outside. The easier way to think of it is if the shape bends inward, it's concave. If it's convex, if it's just a normal shape. A polygon is concave when at least one line segment connecting any two vertices lights outside the polygon. So this only works for a convex polygon. Any of the angle measures on the outside will add up to 360. I don't care if you have a 100-sided figure or if you had a 3-sided figure. All of the exterior angles will have a sum of 360 degrees. Example four, finding the exterior angle measures. So in A, we know we have four angle measures. I could add them all up, 50 plus 127 plus 91, that gives me X plus 268. We know they all have to add up to 360. So that means X is going to be 92. The question though does not ask for the value of X. The question asks for the measures of the exterior angles. So they would be 50 degrees, 127 degrees, 91 degrees, and 92 degrees. Make sure you are accurate in giving the answer the question wants to know. In B, the exterior angle measures are 124, and then we have to find the other two. We know the sum of all of these is equal to 360. So I could do 2z plus 150 equals 360. Subtraction property, 2z equals 210, z would equal 105. If I plug that in, 105 added to 26 gives me 131, and the other angle measure is z, well z is 105. How could you double check your answer? You could add them up and see if it gives you 360. The vocabulary that you need to know would be polygon, and regular polygon.